Edmunds exclusive, we've got the Chevy Camaro ZL1, Dodge Challenger Hellcat, and Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. These cars have never been as powerful or as capable. And we have them outfitted in their highest performing configurations. The ZL1 has the 1LE track package, the Hellcat has the Red Eye wide body, and the GT500 has the carbon fiber track package. And they're all automatics too. Yes, even the GT500, although it's technically a dual clutch. We've already tested these cars, but now we want to find out which performs best in a heads up drag race. We're going to use launch control, all of us, hopefully. I don't want cheats. I've set my launch control at 1200. That's as low as it goes. Now it's a little chilly outside. The asphalt is a little cold. Tires are a little cold. I think the ambient temperature is below 40 degrees. So it doesn't look good for Carlos and those heat sensitive tires. I would really like to beat Kurt in the Mustang. There is a launch control setup, which is really nice. It's not just like a set thing. So if I was on a really nice surface, I could set the RPM a lot higher. Um, and then I could basically launch at full throttle. But because this surface is cold and absolutely not treated in any way to make it stickier, um, I'm gonna put the launch RPM at 1200. That's my plan. Let's see if it works. The biggest challenge with this car, especially today, is these tires. They're very temperature sensitive and it's very cold out. So I'm seeing 43 degrees on the dash. I'll just kind of put my faith in launch control, focus on keeping the wheels straight, and uh, hopefully give uh, Mr. GT500 over here some trouble. Our car is really fast. This car is really fast. Hopefully this car is a little faster. I'm surprisingly nervous. Five, four, three. trouble getting out of the hole. Everybody had trouble getting out of the hole. Yeah, it's unfair that Kurt is totally sleeping on the light and still gets to win. Maybe if I had a bigger engine, I'd go slower. <laughs> Grip is already a problem when you have this kind of power and only two drive wheels. But ice cold ambient temperatures made hooking up even more of a challenge. We took on the oh so difficult task of heating up the tires. and kept running to get a fair pass. I'd be bummed if a car with 800 horsepower lost to a car with less than 800 horsepower. Oh, you barely have less, and you have like 600 pounds less. I also have a wing. Hey guys, I also have wings and, and canards and stickier tires, and I am not winning. Yeah, but you have a lot less horsepower. Is it cool if I brag about being the least expensive car here? No matter how many times we ran, the result was always the same. Right, Mustang ready. wins, and undeniably so. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that's great! Uh, pony or snake? Do I call it pony or snake? Snowny? Poke? I hate launch control. Stupid. I'll just call it first place. You guys, I think I need more NOS. Yes, testing acceleration on a street surface has some flaws, especially with cars this powerful. But the interesting thing is, we actually replicated our test results that we got at our test track. And I believe if you were to go to a drag strip with these cars and put them on a prep surface and put drag radios on them, yeah, they'd go faster, but the placement would probably remain the same. That said, how was the Challenger? Um, oh, are we doing like a what did I learn? 
because I learned I do not like losing. I don't <laughs> like it at all. I am mad. I can tell. <laughs> I am not having a good day. No, the Challenger is fun. Even when you're losing, the Challenger is fun. That supercharger whine and like how hard it hits when it shifts, it's pretty fantastic. But the robots just aren't smart enough yet. They just didn't do quite what I needed them to do. So I actually would get out of the hole pretty well. Um, I think I, I think I might have treed you a couple of times, Kurt. Yeah. But then around when I shifted into third, car would be like, all right, I think you're good. Here you go, girl, 797 horses. And then it would spin like up there. So then I would watch him go by. <laughs> but honestly, I think even if I had stayed stuck, he would have passed me at the yeah. top. Like I was, he was just pulling like crazy. That's the problem. You have the most power, but you got the heaviest car and physics is physics, right? The Camaro is the opposite, where it's the le lightest car here with the least power, but it has like the most tire, but that tire only works when there's temperature. So like you, I was having massive traction issues. I think all of us were having yeah. massive traction. That actually kind of put us on equal footing, because once we all hooked, <laughs> it all kind of worked out the way we'd all expect. But yeah, the launch control on that, especially with coldish tires, really had trouble getting out of uh, the hole in first gear. Getting the launch was easy, anticipating the launch, timing was good. And then once it hooked up, it was just, okay, there's the red car going by and there's Kurt smiling. I can see it even through his freaking helmet. Oh, that's so <laughs> annoying. Hate that guy. I just radiated winning. Actually, I was concerned about getting the car moving because you can activate launch control, foot on the brake, foot on the throttle. You take your foot off the brake and there's a solid one count until the car moves. That's really frustrating. It should be instantaneous. I don't know why they put that in there, but it's in there. So I had to adjust my launch based on, you know, when he would say one, and then I would let off and the car would sit. But yeah, I, I think we all had the same tr traction controls. When my car would shift in to second, it would just slide a bit toward you as almost to wave at you. <laughs> as you passed on by. Hooked up and left, yeah. You know why Ford put that little delay in there? Why? To give people time to start their Instagram videos. <laughs> On that bombshell, GT500 wins this drag strip battle. And none of us like Kurt anymore. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to look for our next video where we compare these three cars and go into a lot more detail. Until then, hit subscribe and visit Edmunds.com to find your next perfect car.